Yes, guys, it is your boy, Mr. Lix, and we're definitely back again for another one, another reaction on this year. Saturday edition of this year, BR, BPTV, Be Real, Be Positive Television. Welcome to each and every one of you guys who tuned into another vibrations. I do appreciate you guys, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up right there. Click the thumbs up button. I know Saturday, you guys might be working, Mr. Lix, I work today. I can watch your brothers and sisters. Sit down. <laughs> Relax for a little bit. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, with that said, let's get into the vibrations for today. Of course, yesterday, brothers and sisters, there was a bit of a rumble in the Caribbean. Rumble in the jungle, brothers and sisters. Well, we're not in the jungle, in the Caribbean, brothers and sisters. And of course, there was a 5.5 magnitude earthquake or tremor, whichever you want to call it. I think when it's 5.5, it's definitely an earthquake. Are tremors that strong? Uh, maybe. Maybe they have the earthquake and then you have to follow up, which you call the tremors afterwards. Whether, whatever it is, brothers and sisters, but it was a 5.5 magnitude earthquake, as well as a followed up by 4.9, as well as a 4.1 and a 3.2 magnitude earthquake as well. Now, guys, you might be saying, um, is this just the vibrations? Individual was in Guadalupe and Montserrat. Did you guys feel it? Because I think this is going to be a shallow one. And when I saw this, this is a shallow one. It's 45, mi uh, 45 miles below sea level right there that's very very shallow so i'm guessing the individual was definitely felt a little shock uh, a little shook a little shake uh, i myself didn't feel anything but you might be saying but that's far from dominica brothers and sisters dominica also had its own as well in the southern part southern eastern part of dominica there was a 3.1 and of course the northern eastern part of matnik that that was a bit of a rumble as well a 3.1 magnitude tremor earthquake whichever they want to call it so that was definitely something that shake the earth brothers and sisters and I wonder if the individuals in the southern part of Dominica and the northern part of Matnik, did you guys feel it? If you guys watch it, let me know if you felt a little rumble or maybe it's your mind that was shaking. Who knows? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, be careful right there. Mother Nature will do what Mother Nature does want to do. But I just want to put out something there. When it comes down to the mosquitoes, brothers and sisters, they are putting out some time frame. They're going to be smoking up the place. Brothers and sisters, when it comes down to this type of mos mosquitoes, in an effort to relieve the influx of this sort of Addis and Egypti mosquito. I don't know if I pronounce it properly, but bear with, me, bear with me, brothers and sisters, which transmit the dengue fever as well as biting midget, midges. Interesting. What is biting midges? I'm guessing this is probably another type of bug or something. But the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Social Services in conjunction with the National Pest and Termite Control. So I'm guessing maybe the biting midges are termites. Uh, of course, the pest and termite control will be carrying out fogging exercises. They're going to be fucking up the place, brothers and sisters, in the following communities. Of course, Sunday, the 3rd, that's going to be tomorrow. They're going to be in Point Michel and Ubier, 5 p.m., smoking up the place. Monday, December, you know, we're preparing for the Christmas, man. Some of all, you need to ensure that your turkeys don't get dengue fever. <laughs> or you sick for dengue fevers, brothers and sisters. 5 a.m., I think this is the time that they should do it. But then individuals are sleeping around that time, though. Do you think individuals should be sleeping when they come to fog up the place? I remember back in the day when they used to fuck up the place for mosquitoes. We, we used to be up and the truck will come and the whole place just go up in smoke. Because <laughs> they're trying to quiver the mosquitoes. But of course, Roso is going to be on the 4th. The, the Goodwill on the 5th. Also, Castle, Castle Comfort and Walla also be on the 5th. As well, different time frames. You guys can check it out. Right there. Funkoli on the 6th. Mao on the 6th. Kings Hill on the 7th. Kinfield on the 8th right there so it ranged from 5 a.m to 5 p.m so if you don't see them 5 p.m make sure you know it's 5 a.m well that time you'll be sleeping but anyways residents of the listed communities are, are asked to keep their windows and doors open yes don't shut them leave them open and please don't go and steal in them people's house when they leave in their windows and doors open at 5 a.m so many dirty ways brothers and sisters anyways windows and doors should remain open with this time so proper uh disbursement of the fog dispersion of the fog so that the fog can get inside the crevices where it needs to be crevicized <laughs> i think that's a word anyways residents are also advised to take the necessary precautions including vacating vulnerable um residents individuals who have problems respiratory problems particularly the elderly and those with medical conditions such as asthma bronchitis and other respiratory illnesses that could be adversely impacted by the fog uh, alternatively vulnerable persons can remain in a closed room so make sure no mosquito in the closed room leave them mosquito tell them mosquito go outside for for you please all right so you know close yourself inside and well smoke can find it just like water you know water does find its way any any any, any crack or any crevices brothers and sisters so hopefully some people might have to put themselves in boxes for five five a.m to <laughs> six a.m maybe i don't know 
um, but that's what they are advising right there closed in a closed room area please stay tuned for upcoming fogging schedules to include other communities the ministry of health and wellness and social services thanks everybody for their patience and cooperation in these matters right there talking about matters brothers and sisters <laughs> we're back to the stadium <laughs> yes brothers and sisters no we're not necessarily back to the stadium we're watching a truck mash up the stadium maybe that truck was vexed checking you know what Bon, bon that i not in that again only to bring cricket i just going to mash up the stadium i don't know if that's the case guys maybe it's most likely an accident that took place right there maybe the truck brakes was not working and end up crashing into the wall and of course you know we have we know no doors <laughs> what are doors anymore brothers and sisters but unfortunately this situation took place right there thank god nobody nobody was hurt and um the wall was hurt though <laughs> the door was hurt <laughs> the stadium you know was hurt but they don't have feelings so that's fine okay brothers and sisters so this incident took place as well but there's another incident of more grave concern brothers and sisters of course we know about this area if you don't know this is the Kulibri um resort Kulibri Kulibri ridge resort something of that sort brothers and sisters a nice place utilizing solar a lot of solar devices right there I'm guessing they're trying to give some sort of you know natural energy or the use of natural energy they're trying to give the people the ability to understand what it is like and of course so forth and so forth this is a, a hotel uh, within the southern part of dominica but there was something rather interesting that took place right there and i must point it out to you guys because everyone who's actually brought this out based on it based on investigations the burn vehicle discovered yesterday at galleon fits the description of a vehicle driven by the owners of Kulibri Ridge Echo Resort at the time, who have been reported missing. Two individual shot bodies were found in a burned vehicle. Uh, the bodies were burned beyond recognition. Interesting. Three persons are in police custody. The investigation continues according to the police, according to the police right there. So the owners apparently of this thing ended up in some sort of vehicle and the vehicle caught on fire and it ended up claiming the lives of the individuals I actually have the video of that right there i think they removed the the, the 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 people in the thing but this is the aftermath from my understanding right there this is the vehicle right there brothers and sisters so yep guys so this is the the the, the burned vehicle apparently but it's rather interesting brothers and sisters there was an individual a preacher man i was i have to say who apparently made a statement some time back i'm not sure if this was last sunday or some time back but of course this uh preacher tends well in pastor randy's church right there there was a preacher man that came and and, and made a prophecy so to speak and he made a statement and people were like you know really is that gonna happen and what have you this is the statement that he made right Glory. Now. Jesus name. I see I see two to three deaths of high high ranking business people. Hmm. He said he see two to three death de passing away of high ranking business people. If you talk about high ranking, this was pretty high ranking right there. Uh, business owners right there who ended up in a predicament and he pretty much stated this. Now you guys might be saying this is something after Sunday is coming tomorrow. If this took place last the closest time to this would most likely be the previous sunday before so this happened this incident happened long after he stayed made that statement i see i see two to three deaths of high high ranking business people in dominica before the year 2023 is over hmm. two to three deaths one heart attack Jesus of mercy. One rob by robbing somebody, robbing the business and shooting the you all don't know. Hmm. It's interesting that he's mentioning robbing, one by heart attack, and the basis of you know pelleting. Um he was definitely correct on the pelleting side. Because from our understanding, we're gonna get in depth to these brothers and sisters. The pelleting side. Two to three individuals he stated, and of course it was stated to me that they were three individuals two individuals in the car known as the husband and wife of this place right there of course 
this is uh i think this is the tourism minister stand up by them by the actual owner who passed away of this area and she stated it must be a dream i don't think that's a dream that that most likely is a nightmare but i get a, a sentiment right there it certainly can be what let me let me let me zoom in on this brothers and sisters let me zoom in on this thing right there okay it must be a dream it certainly can't be real uh, this individual was saying you and dominic mean so much to us our constituency will not be the same without you so i'm guessing the other individual in the vehicle is none other than his wife dominic which is very sad sympathies goes out to the family and friends of these individuals right there it's never a good thing when people leave this life because they will never come back brothers and sisters they will never return it's very interesting what took place right there now guys this story is pretty much alleged as to what was was uh, uh, took place but of course this was forwarded and it indicates that just got this from lennox honey church alleged yes uh, there has been a long outstanding altercation of the right of way to Kulibi Ridge Resort through Bois Colette, whatever estate that is French, Cotele, Cotelet estate. Uh, Jonathan of Bois Colette has been trying to block Daniel, Lu, Lu, La, Daniel of Kulibi Ridge and his guests from going through the estate yard. A recent court decision handed down that the road through the estate yard is the legal public right of way but and sisters i don't understand how people understand certain things here there must be a right of way if the person if your property is in front and the person property is at the back there must be a right of way passage for the person to be able to pass to go at the back you cannot block the person and say oh it's my land the person has to have a, a right of way access and sometimes that land that that road has to pass through your land the court gave the, the understanding that these individuals have a right of passage they have a right of passage it's steady right there a recent court decision handed down that the road through the estate yard is the legal public right of way a few nights ago it seems that jonathan ambushed the individual right there that we saw a while ago this individual let me go back on his face so you guys can see apparently he ambushed alleged to have ambushed uh daniel and his wife in the car and pelleted them until they i guess they, they were gone and then drove the car with them inside it to the edge of a ravine and set the car ablaze with the individuals inside that was some days ago and it was only found this morning um i think this was yesterday or the day before uh, yes because i got this i got this i got this but i really didn't pay attention until more people started sending it to me right there i just figured hey people just saying you know but then I realize this story is much more serious than I thought it was. That was some days ago, apparently, when that took place, and it was only found out this morning. It is not known where Jonathan is or if he committed, you know, took his own life right there. Story unfolding. It is awful, but at least it is the white expats doing this to whether you white or black brothers and sisters, that's never a good thing right there. But thank God it's at least it's not locals this time. At least it's not local beef. But doesn't that's still part whether you white or black brown sisters we are all the same white purple yellow shocking color blue green well if you blue and green that's a different story right there but you get my point brothers and sisters we just it's just this melanin that changes color melanin that 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 whether you have more melanin or less melanin in your body you're still the same <laughs> you know it's just a change in the outward appearance we still have red blood brothers and sisters it doesn't matter whether it's white or or, or, or thing but apparently it's white expats that apparently have beef with each with each other and of course the fallout got worse or well the fallout would be worse interesting i don't think you get worse than that now but um it's just shocking the kind of things that is taking place right now in dominica where individuals from overseas are vexed with each other you passing on my land but the law says you have the right of passage right there you know it's just a, a sad sad state of affairs right there brothers and sisters sad state of affairs anyways mr lennox linton is back on the scene again and giving us some word with the head of government while the head sorry while the head of government by rates as terror as you know this thing right there international journalists reporting truth and fact about dominica's cbi program a government authorized cbi agent reside the resident in dominica is in police custody at present in connections with the gruesome 
double life taking situation that took place. Truth will reveal the real terrorists. Stay tuned right there. Now, who are these individuals? Now, guys, it's alleged that this individual is none other than this Jonathan, and of course, this is the individual they still have been arrested right there. This guy, based on the statement, this guy Jonathan has been arrested along with his wife, an alleged hitman. Oh, brought in from the United States. Hmm. Heard they were apprehended in Granby, looking for a way to leave the island. So it was this. Well, it's alleged to be this guy and his wife as well as some other individual apparently was a hitman who did the job i don't think that hitman got paid prop or well, i don't think that individual is a good person you don't take lies of people put them by the river and set it on you have to to me when i watch in movies they do, don't they have to make it look like an accident yeah don't they make it look like an accident oh the vehicle plunged over the cliff and went into ding caught fire woman you know Anyways, what I know, I watch too much movies, brothers and sisters. This is the individual right there, alleged individual who apparently was vexed with these guys, him and his wife. Uh, I, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But Lennox made an important point right there. While the head of government by rates is as this individual was, guy there, persons of interest, international journalists reporting truth and fact about Dominica's CBI program. A government authorized CBI agent reside, resident in Dominica is in police custody in connection with the gruesome double taking of life right there. Truthful reveal with the real individuals are person of interest. Stay tuned. He's saying, stay tuned. Triple R767, cancel them. Now, it's made the statement right there. This Jonathan is a noted passport seller. He built his wealth on the backs of poor Dominicans. That reminds me of MMC. Knowing the track record of MMC, from my understanding, um, they were nothing. They didn't have much. You know, they didn't have much. These people just came on board and, hey, you know, probably linked with the government and built their wealth. Built their wealth. I think it was Al Jazeera that was making that statement on the basis of, of, of you know, building wealth. Because when you look back at their track record, they had nothing going for them. And all of a sudden, they linked up with a prime minister and, you know, whoa, bow! Become multi-millionaires and even billionaires to this day. This is probably one of the things that a number of persons... I, I made some of that statement yesterday. It could be possible that maybe the prime minister wants, wants to also get, you know, a little cut in the whole stadium situation and realize, hey, we're not getting a cut, so let's see if we can do our own thing to get our own thing and then, you know could be brothers and sisters possibilities are always endless when it comes on to dominica possibilities are always endless brothers and sisters and of course based of this thing right there is this jonathan lair the one mentioned in the panama papers back then and linked to dominica how is he linked to dominica brothers and sisters this individual Greenwich brothers inc bow frost mountain Girardel Dominica linked to Dominica interesting brothers and sisters very very interesting indeed Jonathan Lear was, was registered as Frost Mountain Girardel Dominican owned and operated British Brothers Inc hmm. Dominicans aren't you curious how this man came to buy Bois Colette and what's his link to scary the man was in the Panama Papers you see guys there's a number of things and this is one of the reasons why why apparently when the OCC, OCCRP, I think they call themselves. And they were releasing all the statements about who was owning parts of Kepinski and all these kind of people owning different businesses and they, they alleged sort of whether they are crime related individuals or criminal individuals. You, 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 we never see or know nothing, brothers and sisters. It's interesting that the truth is coming out, brothers and sisters, on the basis of all sorts of things that are happening back then in dominica brothers and sisters outside not back then but outside of dominica a lot of crazy things are happening people investing but you know not do deal <laughs> prime minister keep state about two do proper due diligence or most robust due diligence programs and when you're looking at the kind of people that have obtained passports and even people who have invested in dominica you tend to wonder what sort of most robust due diligence process is he talking about Dominica to me has one of the highest rates of individuals. This is why UK had to stop uh, um, this visa-free 
thing because they check in if we give visa free that means these people who opt in dominican passports and definitely fly to uk and probably even come and do their corruption and chaos it's possible you know brothers and sisters it's always possible this is why they have to stop this and this is what i'm telling individuals and individuals i'm like listen i'm telling you guys if these guys continue especially when it comes on the european union they're gonna put the same thing that the uk did to dominica visa free access they're gonna remove it the european union because sometimes these people don't like to listen when you when you stop and your 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 heart hard man i remember the great book speaks books about you know god hardens pharaoh's heart you know for him to constantly just just he never decide to leave god's people alone he just come behind them god hardens his heart well he end up on the bottom of his sea following them he end up on the bottom of the sea brothers and sisters be careful don't make god harden your heart eh? oh to make the creator of heaven and earth harden your heart brothers and sisters but it's very interesting the kind of connections and the individuals who have invested in dominica on what basis now they talk about due diligence process now the thing is dominicans don't know about these things dominica has no clue about these things dominica are ignorant about what exactly is happening when people outside there who know what is happening happening outside they listen to the very leader that is propagating falsehood Come and say no. These guys are the ones propagating false. Where they, they, they have no benefit to do to to Dominica. They just decide, hey guys, something is happening. We need to come and tell the Dominican people what is going on. There's no benefit to them what whatsoever when it comes down to these things. It's just that the investigations overseas led them to Dominica, and of course they they, they found out a number of information. So people will still come and tell people, boy. That's a, uh, brothers and sisters now guys sympathies goes out to all the individuals involved in this situation those who lost their their their, their loved ones it's very sad it's it's, it's you know i i don't understand hopefully that person know jesus ah yeshua or yeshu hopefully that individual know who this individual was before they go because he said i am the way the truth and the life no man coming to the father but through me not from Muhammad, not from Buddha or Obia, brothers and sisters, for Yeshu them for himself, brothers and sisters. But it's on the basis of this thing. The pastor man said three individuals right there. No, I'm not really sure. He spoke about heart attack. Now, guys, I saw this um post right there. Breaking news from a power individual, Dr. Clarissa Etienne, who was from Dominica's passed away. She says that the director of Pan Health Organization Regional, blah blah blah. World Health Organization, which of course we have to be very careful about, just because it's World Health. You say, "Oh, they like us," but be careful, right there. Doctor Etienne began her career in a native Dominica as a medical officer, medical officer of the Princess Margaret Hospital, and was later appointed as chief medical chief medical officer of the country. She was also she was also one of the individuals that um, was um, up for grabs for presidency, the nominees. I'm guessing. Uh, the prime minister's individuals i think she was second runner up in 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 in, in that uh from my understanding i could be wrong but you guys will let me know if i'm wrong or not of course she also served in other high level posts in dominica now i wonder if no i don't know if that is the case brothers and sisters like i said sympathies goes out to her family and friends but the pastor man said heart attack i'm not sure if that is what she passed away from but that's a big question mark right there but brothers and sisters a lot of people are going whether it's natural, whether it's not biological, or whether it's just wicked people. You have to be careful out there, brothers and sisters. Always pray for your family and friends for the guidance and protection against Satan himself. Because sometimes Satan using them wicked people. <laughs> well, sometimes it's not even Satan. No, sometimes Satan does cry. Say, oh, it's not me that caused that. You do it on your own. Remember, man ate from the, the fruit. Not the apple, the, the fruit. Of good and evil so man no good and man no evil okay brothers and sisters you have to be mindful of that just for the passageway i mean come on really just for the passageway even though the court rule you're checking mm -mm, not on my std passing there not no sir you expect them to pass you, you expect them to teleport if that is the case right there if this is alleged brothers and sisters if that is the case or you expect those people to reach on the property or the guests huh you expect them to teleport huh? all this could have been avoided this is why the law is there brothers and sisters to help people gain justice for what needs to be done 
it's very up boy let me guys what are your thoughts man we can eat my lunch i'll eat all your lunch already anyways guys give this video a thumbs up if you understand it um if man we just have to pray for dominic and all the craziness that has been happening man who knows who is doing what and all kind of criminals that invest in dominica and they have a part me most likely they have more say than you in dominica they have more say when man can reach people who have land in dominica say it, i will tell you where the bong of your land is when people foreign people can come and tell people i've been in dominica for donkey years come in and tell them i will tell you where your land is because we're taking parts of it i will tell you well i guess this is what dominicans want I always mention this because apparently Dominicans not doing anything about it. So if you're not doing anything about it, that's what you want. True. If I'm hungry, brothers and sisters, huh? if I'm hungry and I refuse to go and get something for me to eat, who fault is that? The food fault? <laughs> or me? It is my fault. I should go and get the food for me to eat. I should go and work to get the food for me to eat. <laughs> It's the difference between go on and get the food to eat where you can steal the food and stuff where you can eat or you actually do it the legitimate way i don't know what are your thoughts guys leave your thoughts sympathies to this individual right there and a family um to our family and friends sympathies to this individual as well to his family and friends as well um, may justice reign if this individual is actually the one who caused it bringing hitman and all kind of something in dominica well we know about the whole situation involving lennox Lin um, lennox linton's house where individual came to frame you know thank god there are cameras there so the cameras pointed out the fraudulent activities and then the prime minister was running and say hey look what happened look 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 brothers and sisters the very prime minister came on stage and saying man coming to take boy I tell you boy what hey that's what the people want <laughs> Anyways, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you understand it. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as it tends to come from. With that said, guys, enjoy your Saturday. So you can go back and work if you if you didn't finish your work right there for the day, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, guys, be real. Be positive.